Renowned designer Kate Spade created an iconic brand and became one of the most powerful forces in fashion. Spade tragically took her own life last year. In a moment, we are going to talk to her longtime best friend, Elise Ahrens, and Kate's niece, Rachel Brosnahan, who's the star of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. They're here with a very personal tribute to Kate and to tell us about a new collection where Kate's creative vision lives on. But first, more on the woman behind the brand. Kate Spade was the woman and name behind a multi-million dollar fashion empire, famous for those iconic handbags, a status symbol for young women across the country. She started the company with her husband, Andy Spade, in 1993 after working as a magazine fashion editor. I felt that I had a good you know, feeling for what was going on, but still couldn't find a lot of the things that I was interested in wearing or what I needed for a lot of photo shoots. After turning the brand into a household name, the couple sold their stake in the company for nearly $60 million to spend time with their newborn daughter. It was a great time for us to take a break, and it was much needed. A decade later, the Spades launched a new fashion line named after their little girl, Frances Valentine. But just two years later, the world was shocked by the news of Kate's untimely death. She committed suicide last year at the age of 55. Tributes for the late designer poured in on social media. Her brother-in-law and comedian David Spade posting this photo saying, she could make me laugh so hard I still can't believe it. And her niece, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel star Rachel Brosnahan, recently paying tribute to her aunt on Instagram. But her name and legacy live on throughout her work, her last designs nearly selling out within a day of her passing. Now, Frances Valentine is out with its latest collection, Love Katie, a tribute to her memory, style, and creative vision. And we're so happy to have Elise Ahrens and Rachel Brosnahan with us this morning. Good morning to both of you. Kate Spade was just so interesting because so many of us felt like we knew her because we carried one of her items. But you guys obviously knew her in such a different way, her niece and her best friend. Tell us, uh, Elise, about, about the Kate we didn't know, the one you knew. Oh, she had the best sense of humor yeah. of anyone I've, I've ever known. She was a practical joker. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we had so much fun together. We, we constantly played practical jokes on each other. You know what? It's only been seven months, and I was thinking about how quick kind of time goes. But I remember when I had lost someone close to me, I remember always, like, reaching to pick up the phone. Like, you almost forget she was that close to you. Do you still, like... I still presence. want to pick up the phone yeah. often. Yes. What, do you, what would you want to talk to her about? Like what kind oh, of? Oh, could things? be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. It's it's the daily things that you call your friend about, your best friend about. You say, you can't believe what just happened to me. Yeah. Um, so I, I do miss that. Uh, Rachel, you um, you posted something on social media that just struck me. These were, the, I guess, the first words about her. You you described your aunt, and you said she was exceedingly kind, beautifully sensitive, insanely talented, funny as heck, and one of the most generous people I've ever known. She was effervescent. She had an effervescent hug, like please hug your loved ones tight tonight. Um, when what did you what did you lose the day that that Kate passed? I mean. One of the closest members of our family, certainly. Yeah. Um, and as as I said, you know, one of the kindest and most generous people I've ever had the privilege of knowing. Mm -hmm. um, and, it, and you know, we were so touched, I think, hearing in the wake of this unthinkable tragedy that we all experienced together, uh, how many other people had been touched, either by her personally, by her mm -hmm. work, by her designs. It was something that really meant a lot to us and still does. Mm -hmm. She does live on through her work. I mean, she was such a creative force. Um, and there is sort of a new line that's out there. And is it vintage Kate Spade? Like, tell, tell us a little it bit is, about it. It is vintage modern. Yeah. It's we're keeping Kate's designs and creativity and spirit alive yeah. through Frances Valentine uh -huh. um, with beautiful bags. And they're... they're really classic. They are something you could wear 10 years ago or 10 years from now and mm -hmm. still pull that piece out of your closet and say, oh my God, I love mm -hmm. that piece. I love it. Yeah. Do you remember, and, Rachel, the first piece you ever had of, of Kate's? Well, <laughs> years ago, there yeah. was a Rachel bag. So For I you. think that was probably yeah. my first one. Yeah. Uh, I remember, yeah. And, and, but again, I, I said this, but it was so, it was so lovely to hear all these stories about yeah. everyone's first bag. And Frances Valentine was uh, Katie and Elise's mm -hmm. latest endeavor. Mm -hmm. um, and the bags are just 
stunning. They're bright and colorful and have beautiful shapes. And I know Katie had always talked about being inspired by my grandmother, June, her mother, mm -hmm. um, ripping things straight out of her closet. And I feel like that spirit still lives on as well. So it's really lovely to see those those special pieces of our family reflected through this collection and the ones before. And why did you think it was important to be the face of this? Because people are going to be seeing you with, with this line. Well, when Elise asked, it just seemed like the most natural fit. Mm -hmm. You know, I think when you, when you lose someone you love very, very much, mm -hmm. you spend a lot of time trying to think about how to keep their spirit alive, how they can live on for you. And that's through memories, but also, you know, in Katie's case, there, there is so much of her left behind. And, and this was an opportunity for us to celebrate her life and her legacy mm -hmm. and how much she meant not only to us, but, but to so many other people and the impact that she's had on the fashion industry. It was a really special experience and the collection is just beautiful. I can't help but think that as we're sitting here talking about this, there are, there are a lot of people watching probably at this very moment who are struggling with mental illness. They're probably, you know, they watch and they wonder like how to find strength. Is there, what thoughts do you have for anyone who may be going through a really just difficult time, maybe in this very moment? Yeah. Life is hard. There are, there are so many of us who have experienced the high highs and low lows that that um, that life can contain, and I know that it can be so difficult to reach up out of the darkness. Um, but you are absolutely never ever alone, and uh, and please do reach out, and and everyone else reach out to the people that you love and remind them that you love them. Thank you, guys. That was beautifully said. And we look forward to this new line called Love Katie. I love that you all called her Katie. Thank you. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. We really, <laughs> really you. appreciate and it thank today. You for